You know, it's been devastating because of one obvious impact everyone knows is the dramatic increase in oil prices, which has affected all our fuel uh, everywhere in the world. In the case of India, it's going to knock our budget projections completely out because Nirmala ji had an estimated in her budget of February uh, oil at uh, $75 a barrel. Uh, it's been as high as 130 it's certainly above 100 even today. And in those circumstances, uh, all her calculations, her assumptions about growth, about fiscal deficit, everything, you may as well tear up and throw away. It has no, no significant impact. Train is a country that uh, uh, has been highly productive in terms of 30% of the world's wheat exports are coming out of Ukraine. 70% of India's sunflower seeds and sunflower oil comes from Ukraine. So all of these things will affect the world market, will affect us also. I suppose one small silver lining is because of the wheat shortages coming out of Ukraine and the fact that that will last, that they couldn't do any planting while the war is going on. Uh, some of our wheat exports will suddenly take off. I think our Punjabi farmers will be able to sell some wheat at higher prices than even the government MSP that they have been agitating for. So there will be a, uh, some, some, some uh, small sectors will benefit, but for the most part, it will have a very negative effect on our economy. And Nirmala ji is quite justified in pointing that out in the House. Uh, this is uh, something beyond our control. But the position we take, the stand we take, and whatever constructive actions we can undertake to bring this um, conflict to an early end, uh, I think those are things that we are, are within our control and we should do what we can in those areas.